Canada Christian College and School of Graduate Theological Studies applied to change its name to Canada University and add Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees to its existing 14 degree programs. Ontario's legislature passed Bill 213 on December 8th to establish these changes in law. Subsequently, PCAB, the Post-Secondary Quality Assurance Board, switched the college's documents and factually misrepresented the college to the Minister of Colleges and Universities. This ultimately caused the minister to withdraw his support. PCAB makes recommendations to the Minister of Colleges and Universities regarding whether institutions can obtain university status in Ontario. They base these recommendations on submissions from colleges that include their policies, administration, and financial details. The actual submission of Canada Christian College met or exceeded all PCAB benchmarks. However, I have PCAB's recommendation to Minister Ross Romano right here. This was ours, this is theirs. It proves beyond any doubt that James Brown, the CEO of PCAB, excluded dozens of policies and documents from consideration. PCAB's recommendation claims that the college falls short of its minimum number of directors by only having five board members. However, as you can see here, Canada Christian College's actual submission lists the names of the seven members of the board. PCAB's recommendation claims that the college does not have policies on curriculum development, cyberbullying, sexual harassment, con computer server disaster relief, and financial investments. However, Canada Christian College's actual submission includes the full text of all of these policies. PCAB's recommendation states that the college must submit audited financial statements, which calls into question the college's financial practices. Yet CCC's actual submission includes fully audited financial statements, accompanied by a confirmation letter from the independent chartered accounting firm who completed the audit. These are but a few examples of material alterations and omissions from CCC's actual submission that James Brown used to misrepresent the college to Minister Romano. Dozens more are included in a legal letter sent to PCAB, making them aware of these omissions. To be clear, this is not the first time PCAB acted in an unlawful manner toward Canada Christian College. In October, PCAB illegally leaked the private information of senior administrators of the college, including cell phone numbers and home addresses, as well as confidential proprietary documents. This led to multiple death threats, misconceptions, and media attacks toward the college and its faculty. This January, the Ontario Integrity and Privacy Commissioner confirmed this privacy breach was in contravention of the Ontario Privacy and Personal Information Act of 2002. Additionally, PCAB, a supposedly impartial, nonpartisan government agency, is quoted here speaking to the media. In a Toronto Star article written several months before the college's submission, they state that the college's application hurts, and I quote, the reputation of PCAB, and we did voice these concerns. It doesn't make us look good. If they want to be a university, it's going to be tough. Does this sound unbiased, impartial, or fair? It is clear that PCAB did not want a conservative, Bible-believing college to gain university status. It is clear that PCAB did not want a college that supports Israel and fights anti-Semitism gaining university status. It is clear that James Brown and the PCAB board did not want a school composed of 80% visible minorities, 60% of whom are black, to become an Ontario university. Even though these students already study 14 degrees at CCC, including four at the doctoral level, so they're doctors, Brown and PCAB want to ensure that these new Canadians, refugees, and racialized individuals can never put university on their CVs. The college has built a beautiful $43 million campus on Lake Ontario to house both its current programs and expansion as a university. This was all built without a single dollar of government funding. All we're asking for today is fairness and freedom. So I'm asking you, please, stand up for truth and fairness. Tell the government they need to do the right thing. Go to www.christianrights.ca to sign our petition. 
and then go and call Premier Doug Ford at 416-325-1941. Tell him that you know about the political corruption that was directed at Canada Christian College. Tell him that you know the truth and tell him that his government needs to do the right thing and proclaim our bill.